Ladies and gentlemen, many of you might remember this woman, Jenna Ryan. She's the one that flew to Washington, D.C. from Texas on a private plane and went into the U.S. Capitol, you know, during the insurrection. And she has since been arrested and charged with a misdemeanor, you know, it, no sedition or anything. Just like I said, they're just giving them the little light slaps on the hand really deserve far worse, but we know we are in America. So this is Law and Crime, January 21st, 2021. Trump supporter who took private plane to storm the U.S. Capitol, she's now begging for a pardon, but now, you know, hey, she's now asking for money. But she is definitely a walking contradiction, just like many like herself. And I'll show you why. So this is her taking a picture outside of a broken window at the U.S. Capitol on January 6, 2021. So Jenna Ryan, the highly mean Texas real estate agent who admittedly took a private plane to participate in a pro-Donald Trump siege of the U.S. Capitol complex is now pleading for donations from her 19,000 Twitter followers. I am accepting donations. This is what she's claiming. So I just wanted to show you these pictures of her just so you remember, because these were published in the online websites, news sites of her. So you can see she's physically inside of the Capitol in that picture with her little Trump knitted hat on. And here's the tweet. And you can see the date for January 21st, 2021. So you know this is pretty recent. So she tweets, help support Jenna Ryan by donating or retweeting. And that's her link to PayPal. I am accepting donations to pay legal fees and losses due to my arrests and charges by the FBI for protesting at the U.S. Capitol. Thank you for your support. Any amount helps. So this was at 1128 a.m. January 21st, 2021. <laughs> Well, I want you to see what she wrote in December. This is a tweet from December, ladies and gentlemen. Now, look at what this says. Very prideful. Stimulus checks are coming. Good Lord, I have plenty of money. Keep your handouts and give them to the needy. I am abundantly blessed. And you see the date? So this was at 1227 a.m. December 30th. 2020. So it was not even a month ago. So how did you go from being abundantly blessed with so much money to now begging for money for your legal defense? Interesting. Sound like a con artist there, Jenna. So here's another one. All right. So you can see all the clear contradictions here. So you can see this Yashar Ali retweeted this, but look at her tweet. So take a secret. I really don't need the donations. I was just giving people the opportunity to contribute and be blessed by their giving. Whoever donates to me is going to be blessed beyond measures. Really? So she sent that out on um, January 21st, 2021. And that was at 6.31 p.m. Well, who's going to abundantly bless them? Some fallen angel demon? <laughs> I mean, really? <laughs> abundantly blessed? Girl, please. So... It gets even funnier, y'all, right? It gets even funnier. On Thursday, Ryan tweeted a link to her PayPal account for supporters to transfer her funds. 
saying her original fundraising account with Fundly was shut down. They shut her butt down. See, it didn't pay to be part of an insurrection because now it's almost like you got that scarlet letter on everywhere you go. So Fundly shut her down, right? Shortly after Fundly shut her down, the company Fundly called Jenna Ryan a racist. (laughs) And they shut her fundraising account down. But shortly after that, y'all, PayPal shut her account down too on Thursday. Mm -mm Mm-mm-mm. I have been doing business transactions with PayPal for 20 years and they canceled me because I raised $200 today. The new world order is trying to intimidate me. This is what she's saying. Thank God I have Jesus on my side. Power of God to move mountains, she said in a since deleted tweet. Ryan also admitted that she did not need the donation. So, you know, so according to the documents, this is what she's charged with in Washington, D.C. According to the charging document filed with the U.S. District Court of District of Columbia last week, after arriving at the Capitol on January 6th, Ryan posted a video on her Facebook, depicting her in a bathroom mirror, we're going to go down and storm the Capitol. So that's what she said. So she says, wish me luck. Federal prosecutors in D.C. charge Ryan with one count of knowingly entering or remaining in any restricted building or grounds without lawful authority and one count of disorderly conduct on uh, Capitol grounds. I'm back, y'all. You know, Jenna got these light kitty glove kind of charges. So she got a Mr. Mina defendant um, for her participation in uh, disorderly conduct on the Capitol grounds. So... It's really minor things that she's being charged with. I I don't, she ain't going to jail. So it's one count of knowingly entering and remaining in a restricted building on grounds without a lawful authority and one count of disorderly conduct. Okay. So, of course, her attorney advised her to take down anything online that couldn't, Uh, incriminate her. And she did. So this is what she says. Ryan also declared that she and everyone who participated in the failed deadly coup deserved to be pardoned by President Trump before he left office. Well, that ship has already sailed. Uh, But with that option not materializing before Joe Biden's inauguration on Wednesday, Ryan is now claiming her prosecution is politically motivated and anti-Christian. No, no, it's none of them things. (laughs) You took your butt up there and you stormed that Capitol. No, that wasn't politically motivated. You kept your butt home, it wouldn't have happened. You wouldn't have been charged with anything. There is a concerted effort to destroy patriotic Christian patriots and Trump supporters. This is what she's saying. It is happening and we need to come together. At this point, I need support so I can clear my name, she wrote. I have to go to trial in Washington, D.C. for this misdemeanor. I believe I was wrongfully arrested and charged and we have to fight for my freedom. Okay, whatever. Mm -mm -mm. 
another possible defense appears to be that Capitol cops let protesters in. Despite her cries of being a victim, Ryan's own social media post appeared to show that she was aware of, you know, the consequences and even death upon entering the Capitol. So she posted, we are going to effing go in there, life or death, it doesn't matter. Here we go, she says, in a now deleted Facebook video, according to Austin American Statesman. Uh, Y'all know who to hire for your realtor, Jenna, for your realtor. So that's what she posted on Facebook, and then she conveniently took it down. And now she's declaring herself the biggest victim in the whole thing. <laughs> I mean, how many times do we see these people do this? Woo, y'all must be, y'all must come out of the womb not taking accountability for nothing. <laughs> I'm serious. Y'all do it so often. I believe y'all come out of the damn birth canal. I'm not accountable. I'm not accountable for nothing. <laughs> the whole time on I'm on this planet, not accountable. Ryan, who previously trolled those who were preparing her for the inevitable arrest and persecution and who castigated attorneys who advised her against posting incriminating evidence, also said that federal authorities had confiscated all of her computers, her phone, and even her MAGA hat. Mm -mm -mm. Well, I wouldn't give this woman my money. And she is no victim. You, you are a grown woman. You took your butt up there and you did what you did. I don't feel bad for you. And PayPal and Fundly shut your butt down. Mm -mm -mm. So this insurrection is going to be following you for years to come. You better get used to having that door put in your face, girl. But y'all, please tell me what you think. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.